Hello. So I think everyone remembers the glory days of IINet uh, when they were Australian owned and operated and, you know, rated number one, blah, 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 on choice, I think it was. Um, and then 2016 happened. They had pretty big staff layoffs, redundancies, and um, they offshored the support uh, to overseas, um, South Africa and the Philippines, I think it was. And then, you know what, they weren't that bad, uh, but they kind of stopped doing those funny ads and uh, the people were less impressed with them. Anyways, I wanted to give my story. I've had two um, sets of IINet, one in 2019 and one now. So in 2019, I purchased IINet. I called them up. I was like, look, I want it for this address. They said, yep, you're already connected. Uh, we'll send you the modem um, and you'll be able to, once it's set up, immediately use the software. Uh, I mean, the service. So did that, the modem arrived, set it up, you know, turned the thing on, it initialized, and then the internet was ready to go. I was like, that is brilliant. Anyways, moved to Melbourne and I was looking for internet. So I was like, I'll go with Ironet. They were really good the last time. So called them up on the Friday. They were like, yep, yeah, you're ready connected. Good to go. Uh, we'll send you the modem and as soon as it arrives, you'll be able to use the internet. I'm like, sick, sounds good. Anyways, they express posted it down and it arrived on the Tuesday um, at 8.30 and I set it up all the lights and everything were correct and the instructions were followed, blah, 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 blah. And the internet didn't work. So I was like, oh no. So called them up and they were like, oh, cool. Yep. So as soon as you receive the modem, uh, we automatically place the order for the NBN, which takes another two days. And I was like, sorry, what? I was told on the phone that they would, you know, um, uh, my service would be ready to go as soon as I get the modem. They're like, yeah, they've been lying about that for a couple of years. I've been trying to get them to stop. So this person was in um, sales. Uh, I mean, not in sales, the person in sales obviously didn't get the memo. And I was like, look, that's not really good enough. Um, uh, that's not what was told to me. And they're like, we'll get a manager to call you back. Um, anyways, next day, manager didn't call me back. They missed the thing, I don't know what happened. Uh, so manager calls me back eventually and yeah, so I carried them effectively. Um, anyways, get a call back. They're like, yeah, so the order is placed automatically for the MBN once you receive the modem. And I was like, yeah, that's not what the, like, I understand that, but that's not what was told to me. And they're like, so, and there's been an IT glitch because, uh, the order wasn't placed automatically. And I was like, what, <laughs> this is a new thing. They're like, yeah, so um, you said you received at 8.30 uh, and the order still hasn't been placed because it still says that we haven't received your thing. And I was like, hold on. First of all, what? And then I really, like, that took a while to get. So they're like, yeah, so now apparently it can take up to two days for them to notify that the order has been, like, the, the modem has been delivered. I was like, I've got it in my hand. Can't you just place the order? They're like, no, it needs to be automatic, blah, 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 blah. And then another two days for the damn like NBN order after saying, as soon as you get the modem, it's ready to go. So that was wrong, obviously. Anyways, eventually they have to log like some IT job and blah, 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 blah. And then the, then the order gets placed and then finally it works. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give my little rant. Like Ionet used to be good. Even after all the changes used to be good, but now something really bad seems to have happened and they, they don't know what's going on. And it's a little bit disappointing and they're kind of misleading in saying on the sales call um, that, you know, as soon as you get the modem, you'll be able to use the product. And then in reality, for me, it could have been another four days before I used the product. It ended up only being another two days because the NBN for some reason was the reliable service here they were as soon as they received the order it was like an hour later that they actually um, confirmed it but I own it was pretty useless um, though their tech support um, is pretty good their like sales and requisitioning and all that kind of stuff is useless um, so just want to give my two cents thanks for listening